Imagine being in the world of Minecraft Attack on Titan, but as a Titan shifter. In this 100 days movie, that is exactly what I did. You will see me become the Attack Titan, the Warhammer Titan, and the best for last, the Colossal Titan. This is all my best Titan videos put into one, and thank you for all the support of the series so far. If you guys want to know how to get the Titan Shifter mods that I use and my custom Attack on Titan map that I record on, they will be available on my channel memberships, but more information on that at the end of the video. Now, enjoy. Imagine you're in the world of Minecraft Attack on Titan as the Attack Titan for 100 days, fighting other Titan Shifters, destroying Titans, and discovering the secrets of this world. And make sure to subscribe to the channel, it's completely free if you end up enjoying this video. Now, just enjoy. I'm sorry, son. This is the only way. Wait, what are you doing with that? You must defeat them! What did you do? What is going on? Inherit the Attack Titan! Why is there a Titan? Ugh. After that crazy dream, I woke up in my house, and I went downstairs to go say hi to my mom. Hi mom, good morning. I I'm gonna go out for a bit. See ya! Alright, time to go have some fun. After not too long, the ground started to shake all around me. I have to go check on mom! I wonder if she's okay! But what I didn't know was that the Colossal Titan was here, and he was about to bust through the front wall. With one loud bang and a kick, the Colossal Titan had broken through the front walls, and just as quick as he came, he had disappeared. One by one, normal Titans started to flood in the walls. I have to go check on mom! Whoa, there's so many titans! I gotta get out of here! Oh, they're all trying to eat me! Run, 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 they're still behind me! I gotta get out of here, come on, come on! I need to see how mom is doing! I have to make sure she's okay! I gotta run around this building, maybe I can lose them! Oh no, they're still on my tail! I gotta get out of here! Our house is around this way! Wait, mom! Mom, what are you doing? Why are you standing there? You have to get out of here! Run, they're after me, run! No! What? The titans stopped chasing me. And it brought their attention to my mom. My mom told me to save myself before the Titan killed her. No, 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 this can't be happening. You, you, you killed her. I then transformed into the attack Titan. But it wasn't before too long that everything started to get drowsy. And I collapsed to the floor. Where am I? Wh who are you? I'm Armin, and I have something to tell you. Wait, what happened? Is, is is my mom okay? Sadly, no. The Colossal Titan destroyed the walls, and the Titan ate your mother. I'm sorry. I need to destroy that Titan. At any cost. If you want to do that, then I'm coming along. We should stay close. Armin said he had a camp that we could stay at in the forest. So he brought us there, and it looked pretty secluded. So hopefully we would be safe from any of the Titans coming in. It was late, so I got in my tent and went to bed. Um, this isn't good. We woke up and were immediately surrounded by tons of titans. We need to leave now. I second that. Let's go. Run. We both tried to get away from the titans, but one of them caught me and was chasing me. I had to get away. Somehow this titan had a familiar face, but I couldn't quite put my finger on it. I kept running, trying to escape, and when I turned around, there were more titans. This one was still chasing after me and was not letting go. Eventually, I knew I couldn't outrun it, and it started getting faster. And, in a moment, I transformed again into the Attack Titan. With the transformation, it gave me the ability to run away. I didn't know what was happening, but I wanted to try out this new Titan body. I was able to do some insane stomps and harden my fists and legs. I started to train a little bit, but it wasn't too long before the Titan transformation caught up with me and I collapsed. I eventually found Armin, and we started to talk. Armin, I have to tell you this. I think I'm a titan shifter. Don't let anyone know or they may hunt you down for your power. Yeah, I think you're right. You really do never know who's listening. After that, Armin and I left to go into Trost because we would need some ODM gear if we were going to fend off the titans. We got into Trost, but there were a lot of people there, ever since the colossal titan had attacked. Alright Armin, I'm going to go into the capital. Um, I'll see you in a bit. I went around, sneaking around because I couldn't be caught in here. After going up some stairs, I found a bunch of barrels and chests. Inside, I was able to find a full set of ODM gear. This was great. Now, I just had to get out of here. Alright, let's take this thing for a spin. Alright, here we go! Woohoo! This is crazy! Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Let's go find Armin. 
I got over the wall when I looked down and I saw a Titan. I was gonna test out this ODM gear. All right, here we go. Oh no, I missed. It's coming after me. All right, I have to finish off this Titan now. Ugh, no, I missed. All right, this has to be it. Whoa! Nice, let's go, I got it. This Titan is way too easy. I then left and went back to camp. At the camp, Armin told me he couldn't get any ODM gear when I heard something. Wait. Hello. You guys must be here because of the Colossal Titan, huh? Yes, we are. But what are you doing here in the middle of the forest? I second that. You should leave right now before it gets ugly. I'm looking for any survivors of the recent events. I didn't want to do this, but you left me no choice. Right then and there, she transformed into the female Titan. She started sprinting towards Armin, trying to grab him. I ran over, and then transformed into the attack Titan. And then we began to battle. She was also able to harden her fists and her legs, so her attacks really hurt. She was pushing me back, and I really hadn't gotten to grasp on my Titan powers yet. No, I'm missing so many shots. She's really beating me up. I have to win this if I want to save Armin. Her fighting technique is so crazy. I don't think I'll be able to beat her. She keeps pushing me back. We both started to go blow for blow, and I was actually doing better now. She kept pushing me back towards the trees, and this was troublesome. I eventually got pushed all the way back, and this was the end for me. I still had to fight, though. I couldn't let her take Armin. Come on, just die! She got me completely cornered, and there was nowhere to run now. All I could do was fight back, in the hopes that I would survive this. This can't be happening. After a long battle, I'd lost, and fallen to the ground. If you want him back, alive, you will have to defeat me. She went over back to Armin, and she grabbed him and ran away. Let's go, Armin. I only wondered how she knew his name, but that didn't matter. I lost. I spent the night by the campfire, thinking about my defeat, knowing I would have to get stronger. To get stronger, I would have to train, so I spent a while training the Titan. If she came back, I would have to be able to rescue Armin. I finished up training, and I went back into Tross because I was super hungry. I talked with a merchant, and he was able to give me some food for just one of my ODM gear blades. In case the Titan came back, I couldn't go back to the campsite, so I found an abandoned house in Trost and stayed the night. While sleeping, I heard some talking, so I went over to the stairs to investigate. What are they talking about over there? With the recent events, I would assume that there are more than one Titan Shifter among us. I think you are right. We must continue the search for them. So there are more Titan Shifters like me. I wonder if any could help. I went out looking when I found this giant line. Um, hello, can you tell me what this is? This is the sign up for the interior police. You should join. You look like a nice guy. Yeah, I will, but I'm gonna go to the front. I got up to the front where I was able to talk to Levi, and he gave yeah. me a book. It said, you've been recruited. Make your way to the top of the wall at first light for initiation tomorrow. Signed, Levi. As I was getting ready to leave, I turned around and I saw this random guy again. Oh, it's you again. Um, I gotta go anyways. Uh, it was nice meeting you. See ya. Yeah, me too. The next day, I made it to the top of the wall for initiation, and there were a lot of people here. I made it up to the top, and I was really late. I had to squeeze through everyone so I could make it up to the front. Levi was just about to give a speech. I brought you up here today to talk about our enemy. The Titans! They've dictated our lives for too long now. As my soldiers, we will destroy the Titans for good! We will fight, and no more death will be surrounding us! Everyone in the crowd was so riled up, they were really excited to start killing some Titans. I went over to the edge of the wall, knowing I was one step closer to avenging my mom and finding Armin. Lightning then struck, and I turned around to find the Colossal Titan. He was emitting steam and blew everyone off the side of the wall. This... This was the titan that led to my mom dying. I have to kill it now. It swung its arm at me, and I got knocked down. I bit my hand and transformed into the berserk attack titan. I felt the power surging through my titan body, and I began to attack the colossal titan. He was huge, and I didn't know how much hit I would be able to take from him. Each stomp was more powerful than the last, but I kept going at it. I knew I had to avenge my mom. This is the titan that broke through the front gates. After not too long, I began to tire. But I had to keep fighting through it. As long as I could fight, I would be able to avenge my mom. When the Colossal Titan landed his last star, knocking me to the ground. Untransformed when I saw some Titans. And the least I could do was take out some of these. So, I got on the tree and got the first one. And soon after, I killed the second one as well. 
I had lost again. I need to get stronger. By the time I had finished that, it was late. So I decided to go back into Trost and go to bed. I went out running looking for any allies to help me fight these titans. I found Reiner and I told him I had to show him something. I brought Reiner out to the forest, and I was going to tell him I was a titan shifter by transforming. Whoa! You're one of them. After I showed him my titan transformation, we went back into Trost to talk about becoming allies. I need you to help me defeat the colossal titan. I guess I can't say no at this point. We can go out searching for those titan shifters who took your friend in the morning. After that, I went to bed. I have befriended the coordinate. And he has no idea. Perfect. You know what you have to do. Met up with Reiner the next day to go out searching for any signs of the Titans. Alright, I'm gonna go searching now. Tell me if you find anything, Reiner. I searched high and low and for days in everything. Chests, houses, everything. And I couldn't find anything. I met up with Reiner and told him that I didn't really find anything. All I found was meat in a gas tank. Yeah, I didn't find anything. Me either. You train your Titan and I'll keep looking. That's actually a great idea. Okay, thanks, Reiner. I left and went out to a secluded area to do some training, and I could feel that I was getting a lot stronger. But I knew this wouldn't be enough to defeat the female or the colossal titan, so I kept training. And by the end of training, I had gained a full new row of hearts. I went back to tell Reiner, but he wasn't there. I figured he must have been on his military police duties. So I left. While running, I noticed this guy over here. He looked like he needed some help. I'm looking for my friend, his, his name is Armin. He went missing a couple days ago, and I, I've been really worried. Armin, huh? I actually have some news about Armin, but you can't tell anyone. Your friend was kidnapped by a Titan Shifter, and I'm trying to get him back. You should join my adventure and help me look for him. If we're going to do this, then I need to show you something. Yeah, sure. We got to the forest, and I looked over and I saw two people. It was Annie, the female Titan, with Reiner. I didn't hesitate. I knew I had to transform and take her down. She must have kidnapped him, too. You better show me where Armin is. Right now. Annie, get out of here! I will take him on. Annie then started to run away. And to my surprise, Reiner transformed into another Titan. It was the Armor Titan. I knew he was an enemy. So I had to battle. He started to charge at me. And I waited for the right moment to strike. We started to fight. And his armor was really hard to get through. I wasn't doing any damage to him. And his punches hurt a lot. Really thought he was my ally. But I can't focus on that right now. I have to defeat him. Or he might get away. He was with Annie, so he probably knows where Armin is. So if I defeat him, I can get that information. I might need some help with this. His armor is not breaking. Come on, come on. While I was fighting the armor titan, Porco transformed into the Jaw Titan. I was alone hearts, so I let him fight Reiner by himself. This Jaw Titan had insane biting power, and he was doing insane slashes too. He was able to push Reiner back all the way, and after a while, he had broken Reiner's armor. I knew that this battle was close to being finished. The Jaw Titan kept slashing at Reiner, and he was doing a lot more damage now that his armor was gone. I watched from afar while the Jaw Titan did some insane moves and was really destroying the armor Titan. And after not too long, with a couple more slashes, Armor Titan had fallen. But before Porco could finish him off, the female Titan grabbed Reiner again, just like Armin, and took him away. After she was gone, I went over to Porco and he said, I think I'm gonna look for Armin on my own. Goodbye. Thank you for saving me, and be safe out there, Porco. After that eventful day, I went back to my house and went to sleep, because I definitely needed the rest. In the morning, I woke up and saw Levi. What are you doing here? He told me that there was military police duties that I had to go to. Alright, fine, yeah, yeah, I'll go, uh, see ya. Well, I did sign up, so I guess I better get going. After a long time of running, I finally made it. I saw that Porco was there, and I found a spot next to him and waited for the training to begin. It has come to our attention that you guys are pathetic with your gear. So we are going to be starting from scratch. You guys clearly haven't begun to master your balance. Your ODM gear is your second greatest weapon. Endurance is crucial to survival. All of you have improved a drastic amount. You can all go inside and have a good night's rest. Because tomorrow, we will go beyond the walls. Once we had all finished training and gotten a lot better, Erwin tasked each of us with a mission. Mine was to go out beyond the walls of Shiganshina tomorrow, so I would need my rest. I made it to where the Colossal Titan had kicked in the wall. And it was time to go. Outside the wall, there are tons of titans, so I have to be really careful. I figured I would kill a couple of these just to clear out the area. There's one, two, 
And three. Wait, that didn't kill him. Where is he? Ha! Yeah! Oh no, that did almost all of my hearts. I have to retreat. I'm just gonna wait for sundown when the Titans go to sleep. Okay, perfect, it's almost time. I think I'm gonna get out of here. I was running with my horse until I saw a light on this tree and I went to investigate. And the person I found up there was Levi. He said I looked beat and he gave me some food, which was really nice. Because this was a good spot, I decided to stay the night here with Levi. I woke up and Levi was looking down and there were tons of titans. KILL THOSE TITANS! Your wish is my command. Ha! Nice, that was a two for one! Alright, you're next. Ha! Nice, let's go! I guess all of them are gone now. Let's go. I went back to check with Levi. And he said, You're good. I think you should spend the rest of the day clearing out the rest of them. I took Levi's orders, and by the end of the day I had a couple more titan kills. The mission wasn't over yet, so I found a nice tree and got to work on building a little shack for myself. And after a couple days of avoiding titans and trying to build this house, this is what I got. It's not the best, but it'll do. The next morning, I made a chest because I had a lot of random stuff left in my inventory. While clearing out my inventory, I heard a voice, I think those and it sounded trick. like Annie. I have to go investigate this. I used my ODM gear to shoot up to the top of a tree to get a good advantage point. And when I looked down, I saw her. I got so mad, I had to get Armin back, and she kept taunting me like this. I had to transform into the Berserk Attack Titan. Now, I'm ready to finish her off for good. Wait, what is that noise? I looked over and the colossal titan had spawned right next to Annie. I jumped down and we began to fight. This wasn't going to go like it did last time. I was going to defeat it. With my new row of hearts and my training, I had a lot more confidence that I would be able to defeat him. I kept getting hit by the colossal's earth shattering stomps and they were doing a lot of damage, a lot more than I had predicted. All I could do was use my heart and stomps and my heart and punches to try and get his legs weak. The colossal titan kept pushing me into the trees, so it was harder for me to use my speed to my advantage. I had lasted a lot longer at this point, but I don't know if it would be enough. I got in close and was doing some good hits, but with one more stomp, the Colossal Titan had defeated me. Again, you need to find real allies to help defeat him. The Colossal Titan might be too powerful for me alone. By that time, I decided to scrap the mission because I needed to look for more allies. I had to defeat the Colossal Titan, so I went into Trost. Being exhausted from all the battles and the travels, I went inside my house and went to bed. The next day, I traveled into the inner districts. Hopefully, I will be able to find a powerful ally here. I went inside the big building, and there were a lot of people here. I discovered this door that was open, so I went inside, and there was a guy in here. He said his name was Flock, and that he could help me find an ally. I just had to give him a couple of days. I will do my best. So, I left Flock, and went to go train in the meantime. During the training, I found that I had the ability to transform into the Berserk Titan at will. This is the form I would have to master to be able to take down any titans, so I trained in my Berserk Attack Titan form. This form takes a lot of energy, and I wasn't able to sustain it for too long. So, after I finished training, I decided to go check back with Flock. I see you've brought in someone. I've gotten someone. His name is Aaron Yeager. Alright, Aaron Yeager. Let's see what you can do. We went out to where I last trained to see his titan. Soon enough, he began to transform. This transformation was super powerful and the ground was shaking all around us. Then transformed into the Warhammer Titan. The Warhammer started to show off all of his powers. And he had a spike attack, which was insane. Not to mention the swing of his hammer would do serious damage. I knew I had found an ally. Aaron, I like you. I think we should work together. Let's do it. Our first mission was to find the female titan. Eventually we did, and then the ground started to shake all around us. I turned around, and the shaking was Aaron Yeager. He was transforming into the Warhammer Titan. And he transformed soon after, and he began to battle. The Warhammer Titan's abilities are insane, and he was doing a lot of damage to the female titan. The impressive combat skills weren't working because of all the spikes in the ground. Aaron Yeager kept using the hammer and bashing it against the female titan. And he started to land a lot of shots and was cornering the Warhammer though. The female titan was stuck and the Warhammer kept using his spikes to attack her. She was getting really low at this point and the Warhammer did not give up. She kept punching him, but it wasn't doing enough damage. And he eventually started to land some good blows, pushing back the Warhammer titan. But he was quick to retaliate. With the Warhammer titan's abilities, it was only a matter of time before the female titan got defeated. With the final blow, she fell to the ground. A victory scream was then sent out by the Warhammer Titan. Aaron won the fight and finished her off.
I ran over to Aaron to check his condition, and he said, She was tough, but I... I was better. He seemed unfazed, so we went on our second mission, to locate Armin. We found this weird chapel sitting in the middle of a field, so I decided to investigate it. Aaron, you stay here. I'll go. I walked around the front doors, not knowing what to expect. As I turned the corner, I found Armin. Armin, Ar I I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait, you need to go now. It it's a trap. No, 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 no. I can't leave you here. I'll come back for you. After hearing the loud scream, there were titans surrounding the whole building. They had used Armin as bait. I knew where he was, but I had to retreat. I had to get out of there. Aaron, I hope you're okay. While running away, I looked over and I saw the beast titan. I had to get out of there. I couldn't fight him right now. Eventually, I made it back to Shiganshina, and it was really late, so I decided to look for a house that I could stay in. I eventually found one that looked just like my house right now and stayed the night. The next day, I traveled back to the capital, with my Odium gear going as fast as I could, just to find Levi. I found him and went over to talk to him. Levi, we need to know what's happening with Armin. I will look into it. Whatever Titan Shifter caused this must be a formidable opponent. For now, you can get back to your military police duties and practice with this. Here, go practice your aim for a couple days. I wanted to say no, but after everything that happened, I was really tired. So I took the gun and went off to go do some training. I made it to camp, but I was extremely hungry. So inside the barrels, I was able to find a bunch of bread to eat. And after that, I checked in the pit and there were a bunch of targets set. So it was time to test my aim. And as you can see, I was doing horrible. I couldn't hit any of the targets. I trained until my last four bullets, and this was it. One. All right. Two. All right, got it. Three. Nice. Four. And just like that, I had mastered my aim with the rifle. Now I could get a good night's sleep before going out and looking for Armin again. I met back up with Levi, and he said he had a plan. He said I should go back to the forest camp and scout out for any signs of the Beast Titan. So I left immediately with my ODM gear. I made it out to the forest and I was looking around when I found a book. I picked it up and it read, The government within the walls must come to a collapse before I can move forward. I wanted to show Levi this information, but the travel back would be too long. So I went around the rest of the day looking for any signs of the Beast Titan. After not finding anything else, I found my treehouse and I went back to go to sleep. The next day while out exploring, I found a bunch of really nicely placed boulders. It was almost like they were planted here by somebody. If the Beast Titan is around, I think I need to go do some training. So I found a good area to transform, and I started to practice and train in my Titan body. I eventually transformed into the Berserk Titan, I did a bit of training in that, leveling up my powers even more. After that intense training session, I decided I would go back into the interior, and tell the council about what I had found. There's a plan for a titan shifter to ruin our government and cause chaos before they strike. We must do something. Rise. You guys have to believe me. I can't deal with this right now. I'm leaving. The council didn't believe me. So I decided to meet up with Levi in private. After telling him the whole scenario, he said I should get some rest because tomorrow we would go out and kill this titan. We left and the next day, we made it out to the forest just beyond the walls. And when all of a sudden, everything started to change. And before I knew it, there were a bunch of natural titans surrounding us. You deal with them. I'll find the big guy. Fine. Okay, here I go. Yeah! There's one. There's two. There's three. And four. Five. Only a couple more. Huh! Oh no, I missed. Oh, that almost killed me. I gotta get out of here. Uh, ha! There's six. One more. Oh, my blades are gone. I have to run. I'll lure this titan away from Levi. After dealing with all the titans, I lured the small titan away from Levi because I didn't have any blades. And that's when I saw Levi running towards something. There you are.
to go check the chapel to see if Armin is there. Good job, Levi. Alright, we're here. I think I have to untransform for this. Nice route. I can see if Armin's still in here. Armin! Armin! Wait. It's just a book? Where are you? What's this say? I've been moved with the Armored Titan. You have to become more powerful and come rescue me. After that, I knew my next mission. It was to find the Armored Titan and finish him off for good. After that, I would be one step closer to rescuing Armin and avenging my mom. I made it back into the walls with Levi and told him I have to go do something. This war was not over yet. I left because I needed to train and master my Berserk Attack Titan form if I was going to rescue Armin. I went away and I got to work training in my Titan form for countless days and countless nights. And after some hard work, I was able to train way more sustainably in my Berserk Attack Titan form and master it and use it for multiple days. Now I could go on the search for Reiner and Armin and finally be able to defeat the Armored Titan. And it wasn't too long until I spotted him. I transformed on the spot. I wasn't going to let him get away this time. I didn't see Armin around, but Reiner, he transformed too. And the battle began. I started off in my Berserk form, and he was doing a lot more damage. I was confident that I would be able to break his armor this Reiner's time. Reiner's punches were still doing a lot of damage, and they hurt a ton. With this new form, I was able to knock him back constantly though. And I could tell I was finally starting to pierce his armor, hitting a lot of punches and not missing. Him and I both were landing some good punches and doing a lot of damage to each other. But I felt like I had the upper hand, and I did. I kept using my stomp, and it was powerful, and I was able to break his armor. This was it. I would finally be able to defeat Reiner. We kept going at it, and he was still putting up a great fight. He jumped, and then landed on me, doing a lot of damage. But I was able to retaliate with a bunch of punches. We kept going at it, and at this point, I knew that that training had definitely paid off. We started going face to face, and landing some insane punches and stomps on each other. We were punching each other in the face back and forth and it was getting really intense. I started taking a lot more damage at this point, and I was getting uneasy if I was going to win this battle or not. He jumped up and stomped me on the shoulder, doing a lot of damage and disorientating me. I eventually found my way and was able to stomp back and punch back. I was surprised he was still alive at this point. I had done so much damage to him, and the battle was getting really close. I was able to knock him back, and with a final powerful stomp, I finished off the battle and defeated the Armored Titan. I wasn't able to find Armin, so I went into the walls and asked Erwin if there was anything he could say that would help. You need to look outside the box and question those close to you. I don't really know what that means, but yeah, sure, I'll try. While I thought about what Erwin said, I spent the rest of the day killing Titans, which also added a couple more Titan kills to my record. Now I could go train even more, because if I'm going to beat the Colossal Titan, I'll need to be a lot more powerful. This time around, I trained in my Berserk Attack Titan form the whole time, and I was doing a lot better in it. After I finished training, I went back into the city to look for some more food, and while I was running around, I saw Eren running by. He looked like he was in a super big rush, so I just let him be and walked the other way. That's weird. Eventually, I found a food stand, and inside the barrels were a bunch of meat and bread, so I took those and was finally able to get my hunger up before leaving. I was exploring around when I saw Aaron. He was on top of these bushes in the middle of like a forest town. I think I have some information for you about your friend. He's... He's the enemy. I, I don't believe that. He saved me. He... We need to find him. Me and Aaron then left to the one place where we knew we might be able to find him. The chapel and outside was Porco. Porco, uh, what are you doing here? So, you figured it out. Everyone you've trusted has betrayed you. You're too trusting. Now let's finish this. No, not you two. It can't be. I'll do what I must. I got ready, and then I transformed, and so did he. We began to battle. Jawed Titan versus Berserk Attack. All my punches weren't landing because he was so tiny, and his claws were doing an insane amount of damage, pushing me back. Not to mention, he kept biting at my legs and they were really weak now. I kept hardening my legs, and even that wasn't enough for the power of the jaw type. My stomps were doing a lot of damage, but he kept pushing me back, and I had no way to punch him. He was so fast, it was really hard to maneuver around. If I could beat the armored titan, surely I could beat the jaw type. The stomps were doing a lot more damage ever than before. The ground was shaking beneath each stomp, but with each stomp came more damage to me. 
I knew I would have to finish off this battle quicker than ever before. The Jaw Titan kept leaping at me and biting me, using his claws to get me down. I was losing hearts rapidly, but my stomps were being able to keep him off, just for a little bit. He launched me all the way back towards the trees, and I charged back in at him. He jumped up and tried to claw me, but I was able to avoid it. I came back in and retaliated with some punches and stomps. He was so quick my punches weren't landing, but I knew I would be able to get him with the stomps. It was only a matter of time. He climbed up the tree and went for my nape, but he got my This arm. was a perfect spot for me to punch him all in the air and finish him off for good. I'm sorry, Porco. While I was in the area, I decided to go back to my treehouse and repair it a little bit before going to bed. Still on the hunt for Armin, I decided to go looking around to see if I could find anything revolving around him or the Colossal Titan, when I found a book on the ground. I ran over and made sure nobody was around before opening it, and it said, I figured you would be coming for me soon enough. I look forward to seeing you once again, my close friend. Stay close. After that flashback, I went out searching, and I couldn't find anything for a long time. So I decided to go do some last minute training. This training would really help because I knew I would have to fight the Colossal Titan one of these days. And after training, I went out looking for Eren. And after I went up this wall, I found him. He was staring off into the distance, and I wanted to see what he was doing up here. Um, Eren, are you okay? You must be looking for the same person too. Yeah, but everyone I've ever trusted has turned against me. Are you like that too? You won't know, but I believe freedom is my birthright. And no titan or human will take that from me. Alright then, let's go. We went back to the one place where everything had happened. The chapel. Aaron, if he is here, I'll go in first. You come in after. I walked in, not knowing where Armin was. And he wasn't here. So I decided to look around a bit. And behind this were some doors. I looked around before jumping in. Here we go! Oh! Wait. What is this place? As I looked around, all I noticed was titan hardening crystals absolutely everywhere. And I wondered how this place was built. I zipped around the caverns looking for any sign of armor or anyone, and I found these stairs. So, I decided to walk up them. Right as I was getting to the top, I saw him. It was Armin, standing in the center. I knew it was him. He was the colossal titan. You broke down the walls in the beginning. You killed my mom, why? I saw you that day when you transformed. I knew what I had to do. Like I said, we should stay close. Herman had then transformed into the Colossal Titan. Feeling sheer rage, sadness, pain, I transformed once again into the Berserk Attack Titan. And soon after, Aaron transformed, and we began to battle. It was a 2v1 this time around, so we had an advantage. The Colossal Titan started pummeling the Warhammer, so I ran in and started attacking him from behind. We kept landing a bunch of hits and doing massive damage to him. We were pushing him towards the side of the pillar to get him cornered because of his large size. Once we had gotten him pinned against the corner, we continued to batter him. Aaron was using his hammer, and I was throwing punches and kicks everywhere. I was getting tired, so I stood back and let Aaron take the lead. I stepped back in when the Colossal Titan started to use a steam, which was pushing us back. The steam was doing a lot of damage to us, and it was super hot. We had to push through the steam, and kept attacking him. Our teamwork was doing really good, but the Colossal Titan stomps did a lot of damage. On top of that, his steam was insanely powerful, able to push both of us back. But the more he used his steam, the weaker his attacks got. We both used this opportunity while he was using his steam to clobber him and do a ton of damage. Aaron using his warhammer doing a lot of damage and me using my powerful punches and stomps. Although the Colossal was weaker, he still did a ton of damage to us. We continued attacking, giving it everything we had. I kept doing punches and Aaron kept using his hammer. But eventually, Aaron got knocked down and he was out of the battle. It was up to me. This is what the training was for. I had to go in with my stomps and my punches. The Colossal Titan was weakened, but he was still very strong. I didn't know how much longer I could do this, but Armin is the one who broke through the front gates and let that Titan eat my mother. I had to avenge her. So I kept stomping and I kept punching. The Colossal Titan was using more and more steam, becoming weaker and weaker. He stopped using his steam for a second, and this was my opportunity to finish him off. I did it, Mom. Now it's time to finish the job. This is for my mom. We did it, Aaron. We did it. Wait, what are you doing? Aaron, what is this place? 
This is the pathway. This is where I give you my Warhammer Titan. If you imagine being the Warhammer Titan in Minecraft Attack on Titan for 100 days, fighting all the Titan shifters, using my ODM gear to take down Titans, and saving the Island of Paradise from Marley. Can I do all of these things while mastering my Titan's powers in just 100 days? Watch the whole video to find out. Now, enjoy the video. I spawned in on top of a wall. They were going to turn me into a Titan. I looked around for any plans to escape, but there were tons of guards. And when I looked down, there were a ton of Titans. You must defeat the other Titan shifters and save the island of paradise. He then pulled out a syringe and injected me with the Titan serum. And then I got pushed down and I landed with one heart. There are Titans all around me, so I had to run. The Titans are close on my tail, so I knew I had to keep running. I don't know why it pushed me down here to my death, but I knew I had to keep running. They were getting closer and closer and I was about to die, when all of a sudden, I transformed into the Warhammer Titan. And I used my hardening spikes to kill away all the Titans before collapsing. I woke up and all I saw was destruction. All I had remembered was that I had to use my Titan power and save Paradise Island. Eventually, I found myself in a forest. While I was here, I knew I would need a place to sleep, so I decided to grab some wood, make some wooden tools, and then get to work on crafting a new base. I got enough wood, and I started to lay out the groundworks for my base. I didn't want it to be too complicated, just a small shack that would keep me protected and away from the titans. When I had finished, I crafted a chest, put all my items in there, and I noticed it was really late, so I went to bed. But when I woke up, I was swarmed by titans. Oh no, there's two titans. Alright, make it a break for it. Go, 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 go. Oh no, he saw me, I gotta run. As I was running, I didn't even notice, but they were destroying my house in the process. Run, these titans are faster than the other ones. They're destroying everything, oh my gosh. Oh no, 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 they're coming close. Get out of here. Run, 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 run. I need to transform. Um, here, here we go. I then transformed again into the Warhammer Titan. And this time it looked like I had more control. So I used my titan abilities to kill the other titans once again. This time, I was also able to swing my hammer for a new attack. I knew that I would have to master this titan. All my stuff was gone. I saw that my chest was still there. So, I grabbed all my loot and decided to make a new place. After a bit, I finally finished, clearing the grass on the ground. This place was a lot bigger and there were no titans in sight, so I decided to go to bed. Soon after waking up, I wanted to test out my titan, so I transformed and then I began to train. I trained in my spike attacks and my hammer swings, getting more and more powerful. After I untransformed, I decided to go out exploring, and after a long time running, I found a wall, and it looked like there was a way in. I decided to go in and there was a passageway, and inside was a whole city. So, I had to go in. Sneaking around, I made my way in, and noticed that there was some food here. I was really low on hunger, so I decided to collect all the melons because I would need them for later. I continued looking around, when I noticed that there was an area with some chests. I ran over to it, and when I opened the chest, inside I found a whole bunch of steak, training equipment, and some gas tanks. I didn't know what they were used for, but I took them anyways and decided to get out of there. And after finally making it home, I was able to go to sleep. When morning came, I decided to see what this training gear is about. So after trying to place it down for a little while, I eventually got it and it spawned this weird structure thing. After looking at it, I noticed that there was a place for me to get on. And when I did, I got some new things in my inventory. And what I got was a full set of omnidirectional mobility gear. So I decided to put it on and put it to the test. On my first attempt, I did really bad, and I couldn't control it at all. So I decided to take the whole day to train and get a little bit better using this ODM gear. I was doing much better since the beginning, but I still couldn't control it fully. And I was able to go a couple swings without falling off yet. By the end of the day, I decided to go third person, and I was doing so much better. I was able to go all across the trees, and I was able to go much quicker now. When training, I noticed a Titan, Now I was going to put this ODM gear to the test. So I swung over, and went to attack. But I missed, so I had to go really quick to escape the Titan, who's right behind me, and I kept missing. I knew if I didn't go fast enough that this Titan would kill me in one shot, 
So I eventually got to a treetop where I could rest for a little bit. After getting at a good angle, I decided to jump from the top of the treetop, and with my most powerful slash, I finished off my first titan. I made sure he was dead before checking outside and I noticed it was super late. So after lighting up my house, I decided to go to bed. The next day, I walked outside of my house and everything was shaking, so I decided to investigate. When I got closer, I noticed a titan and it had a gun attached to it. So I transformed on the spot and it started running at me. It used this gun and knocked me all the way back so I couldn't get any hits in. I eventually got closer and it started to do some damage, but it kept knocking me back. I ran in close and used my spike attack knowing that it did a lot of damage, but it retaliated and used his gun to knock me back again, doing a ton of damage also. By this point, I didn't know how to approach it, so I just kept going in with my spike attacks. But since this titan was pretty quick and they had their gun, they kept launching me back, so I couldn't get a lot of damage in. I continued making my way in, but I was super slow. Luckily, my attacks when they did land, they were super powerful, so I didn't have to land as many attacks as this titan. I started attacking him with my hammer. I was doing a lot of great damage, but it was able to still use this gun and was doing damage back to me. I made my way back in and used my spike attacks, trying to get a final blow. But this titan was so resilient, and with the armor around it, I could tell those attacks weren't doing the amount of damage they should. We continued fighting, and I could tell that I was getting weaker and weaker. I had definitely not mastered my titan powers yet, but I had to continue. I couldn't die here. I could tell that the titan shifter that was controlling this was a lot more experienced than me, so I had to make up for it with my immense power. I kept using my spike attacks, but this titan didn't just have a gun, it had strong swipes. It was just enough to keep me back, and then it would use its gun to do all of the damage. I eventually got in close. I knew that I would have to finish this titan off soon, and I had a feeling my titan body was super low on health. Using every bit of power I had left, I used my stomps, my hammer swings, all the attacks I could, but I was defeated. Soon after, a white haired man emerged, and he called back the titan. The titan came running towards him, and then they left together. The next few days, after that defeat, I knew I had to become a lot more powerful, so I spent the next few days training in case of another fight. After getting low on resources from the training, I decided to go back into the walls when I noticed a man was waiting for me. I have seen you coming in and out of here. What are you doing? You must be mistaken. I, I, I'm gonna go. After leaving, I made it back to my house, and I didn't get anything that I wanted, so I went to sleep. And after waking up, I noticed that there were titans swarming my house. This time, it wasn't just one titan, it was two. So I decided to put my training to the test and attack the titan, missing the first shot. I had to keep up my speed or else I would have died. I continued zipping around, looking for a good opportunity to finally kill this titan. When I landed on the tree, and I was going to try the same thing I tried with the other one, but I ended up missing. I continued moving around, finding a good spot to finally kill the titan. One down there is still one to go, and this one was stupid hard to kill. I continued going around as fast as I could and was able to kill it. With those out of the way, I was finally able to go off exploring. And by the time night had fallen, I had found myself in a village. When I looked over and I noticed a book, I went over to pick it up, and it read, We are actively looking for the Warhammer Titan, and our attempts have been unsuccessful. We will continue the search tomorrow. Reiner. After I'd gotten the message, I threw it in the fire, knowing that must have been a clue. So, I decided to head back to my house and go to sleep. I went out exploring the next day in the region that I had found the book from, when I noticed someone was in the trees. So, I decided to walk over there and see who it was. When before I could even think they had started to transform, and they transformed into the Armored Titan. I began to run away, looking for a spot to safely transform. I had found one, and after transforming, we began to battle. I knew I had to make the first move, because this titan looked a lot more powerful than the last one. I used my hammer attacks, but I noticed they were doing no damage. It had all of its armor all over it, taking all of the blows. I knew that if I was going to have to defeat this titan, then I would have to shatter all of its armor, and then finish it off. So I continued using my attacks, trying to weaken the armor more and more. But the armor titan wasn't just playing defense, it was going offense too, and it was doing a lot of damage to my titan body. Luckily I had gotten my training in, so I was a bit more powerful at this point. I charged in, and then went for the attacks, weakening his armor, little by little, trying to break it. I noticed that my hammer attacks were doing a lot more damage, so I continued to use them. But in combination with my spike attacks, it was able to slow down the armor titan, so it was able to land more and more hits. Spike attacks were doing more damage now because his armor was starting to break. And I knew I just had to keep it up. So I continued using my spike attacks over and over again. And then all of a sudden, his armor had broken. 
Now I was able to do a lot of damage. His attack power was still the same, so I was still losing a lot of health. Even though I was, I could still feel that my attacks were doing a lot more damage. He continued to put up a fight. So I just kept pounding into him, using my spike attack and my hammer attacks over and over again, because that's all I could do. My endurance was running out, when all of a sudden, I laid the final blow, defeating the Armored Titan. Once I defeated him, I went out into the forest and trained in my ODM gear, before going back to my house and repairing it for a little bit. And after repairing the house, I went back into the city, while doing a 360 before jumping down. And I eventually found someone whose name was Erwin, and he started to talk to me. You look like a fine young prospect. Why don't you come out and train to become a member of the Scouts? I guess I can do that. After Erwin told me that, I left immediately to go to the campsite to go train. I finally made it there after a couple days of running, and immediately started to train. I got inside the pit, and with my ODM gear, I started working on my speed and my accuracy with my blades. I continued training in all sorts of terrain, so I could get better and better. All throughout training camp, I had noticed someone watching me, but it was almost finished, so I decided to ignore him. I was finally finished with training camp, and I was told to go into this building. I went inside and saw a chest with my name on it. I opened up the chest, and what I found surprised me. I took off my normal uniform and put on my green coat, officially making me a member of the scouts. Now that I was a scout, I decided to go off and train in my Titan 4. All the Titans I fought were pretty fast compared to me, so I decided to work solely on my speed. If I was faster, I knew I'd be able to take down all the Titan shifters, and by the end of the day, I would gotten so much faster. And because I was done training, I decided to use some of the wood I had to expand on my house a little bit. Making it higher up would be able to help me see Titans better, so I decided to add a whole second story. I finally finished the house, and it looks pretty solid. Inside, I was able to add a whole new chest area and clean that place up a bit, add some windows, and inside I added a place where I could have a ladder to get up to the second story. I finally made it up there because the ladder wasn't working, and I put trap doors up here just so that they could act as a window and a barrier. Now that I had finished my house, it was time for me to go out exploring to look for more Titan shifters. While I was exploring, I found these like abandoned ruins, so I decided to go inside and see what was happening. I looked around and it was pretty eerie, and I got a bad feeling about this place. Eventually, I made it inside, and in there was really nothing. I saw some chests so I went over, and there was nothing inside of them. I went to check these chests too, and there was nothing also. But then, everything started shaking, and I knew something was happening. I looked over outside, and the cart titan was back. It immediately started shooting at me after I transformed, and we began to battle. I was much quicker this time, so I was able to close the gap and start hitting it with my hammer, and using my spike attacks. I knew this time I would not lose. I was much stronger and much quicker, so I was closing the gap better and better. Its attacks were doing a lot more damage. Knowing this, I knew I would have to finish off the battle as quick as possible. This couldn't go on longer. I was able to use the defense of my titan and still continue to attack it while it was shooting me up the wall. Eventually, it got me super high. I used its attack to land back down with my hammer, doing a ton of damage. I kept using my hammer while I was up there, jumping up and doing a lot of damage to the cart titan. I used my stomps while they were still using their gun, and we were both doing a ton of damage to each other. The battle continued, and the cart titan kept pushing me back more and more. My hammer had a good reach, so I was able to use that to do some damage, before getting pushed back again. My hammer swings were doing a lot more damage now, and the cart titan's armor wasn't as effective, so I knew I'd be able to finish it off soon. Its gun attack was still a problem though and it kept pushing me back, eventually getting me near the edge of a river. I didn't want to fall in, so I kept attacking, using my spikes to maybe hold it down. But, with its slash attacks, it was able to push me into the river. Soon after, the cart titan ran in too, and we began fighting in the water. I used my hammer attacks in the water, because they were still effective. And since I was taller, I was able to swing my hammer and finish off the cart titan for good. But soon after, I started to get drowsy, and I had passed out. When I woke up, I had washed up inside the interior. While I was here, I decided to go see if I could loot around and grab any food or any supplies that I would need for back home. This place was massive, so I had to be careful, and the guards were all over the place. Eventually, I found some chests with a whole bunch of meat. But not just me, I was able to find an extra gas tank and some thunder spears. 
place was an absolute gold mine, so after I looted everything, I left really quickly so I wouldn't get caught. It was night by the time I had made it home, and when I looked on my door, I had found a note. I opened it and it read, Hello Warhammer, we found your little shack and I think it's about time you get back to Marley. See you soon, your training buddy. As I thought about it, who it was, I had a flashback. It had been the same guy who was stalking me all throughout the training camp. He must be a titan shifter. No time to waste, I had to go straight back to the city to see if I could find him. And after making it into town that night, I found an abandoned building that I could sleep in. So I found a good spot and went to bed. The next morning, I decided to put away all my stuff when walking around the city, so no one would be suspicious. I continued walking around when everything started to shake all around me, and I turned around, looked up to see the Colossal Titan standing above the wall. Knowing I couldn't fight it right now, I had to run right back to the house to grab my ODM gear and get out of the city. I finally made my way back to the house. I went inside, started opening the chest to find all my ODM gear so I could get out of here. I grabbed all my stuff really quickly. Just in case I needed to use my Thunder Spear, I put it in my left hand. And then I left the house and left. After leaving, I found some more Titans, and I had to deal with them. This time, there was a lot more. Since they were in swarms, it was so much harder to kill. But I was able to get some good angles and kill some of them. Now that that guy was dead, there's only one left. It was this small, big nose one, and he's the hardest to kill. He hit me once and did almost all of my hearts. If I didn't have my armor on, I would have been dead. I went back in with my thunder spear and completely missed. I went back so he wouldn't get me, launched up and tried to attack again, but I missed, and he almost got me again. I came back in third person, trying to get him, but when I looked around, he was gone. And after that, I decided to leave, and find a good place to sleep for the night. I didn't want to go back to my house because the Colossal Titan already knew I was there. So I found a campsite in the forest, and slept there. Since I was out of gas, I would need to be able to make some tools and mine some iceberg stones. So after collecting some wood, I made a pickaxe, and then after that I made a stone pickaxe and began to mine some coal. After I got the coal, I kept mining and found some iceberg stones. After I'd gotten a good amount of iceberg stones, I had eventually found some iron, which is the last piece I would need to make some new gas tanks. I continued mining, finding more and more iceberg stones and more ores just to make some more gas. And eventually, I was able to craft a furnace. I used that furnace to smelt my iron and was able to make myself one gas tank. Now that I had a gas tank, I felt much more confident in my ability to go look for the Titan Shifters. And by the time all of that was over, it was super late, so I went to bed in the tent. And the next morning began to train in my Titan body. Colossal Titan looked like the strongest foe yet, so I had to learn a new move. It was the spinning hammer move. After days of training, I got a full new set of hearts. So I was much more confident in my ability to take down this Titan. After looking, I was running around when I saw him. It was the guy from the training camp. I think his name was Bertolt. He was running into the forest, so I couldn't waste any time. I had to transform here and there. I was scared, so I was creeping backwards. And at the same time, he saw me and transformed into the Colossal Titan. After I transformed, he began the battle, and his stomps hurt a lot. This was definitely the slowest Titan I'd faced, but the most powerful. He was so much taller than me. He was towering over me, and he was able to stomp all the way up to my head. The only thing that was keeping me in this fight was my hammer. So I continually used it to defend myself and to attack. My spikes were doing a lot of damage to his feet, so that was a good thing too. And they weren't able to move as fast. I was trying to extend the range of my spike attack because he was so massive, but it wasn't working. I didn't have enough power to keep it going, and he started using his steam, pushing me back. So I had to continually keep moving forward just to get any hits in. He started using his punches now, and they were doing a lot of damage. I didn't know how much longer I'd be able to keep this up for. I knew I just had to keep defending myself with my hammer and attacking while I'm evading using my speed. He kept using his steam, pushing me back. This fight was hard, but I knew I would be able to make it through it. I could tell he was getting slower and slower, which means my hits were working, and he was taking damage now. The move that did the most damage was my hammer smash and the spikes. I knew it was only a matter of time before I'd finish him off, and with one last hammer swing, Colossal Titan was finished. Soon after, from exhaustion, I had collapsed too. And by the time I had woken up, it was super late. So I decided to eat some food while making my way back to the campsite to go to sleep. I wanted to make some trades for some gas and some new blades, so I went into the interior and went to the market. This guy said that I would need to give him some food, and in return, I would be able to get two gas tanks, which I did. 
This girl said that I would give her some food also, and in return, I was able to get some new blades. After I was done trading, I decided to go back home using my ODM gear. When I started going back home, I noticed that my house was completely destroyed, and there was nobody around. It looks like a titan did this. I went to investigate, and all of my stuff was gone. All that was left were the remains. Knowing another titan shifter did this, I decided to go out looking immediately, because I had no home anymore. I looked at all the places that I never have before. High and low, day and night. And I couldn't really find anything. The next day, I had made my way over into the town, seeing if I could find anything there, or any clues to find any titan shifters. But again, I had found nothing. And I swear I had checked everywhere. Later, I decided to get a better vantage point and go to the top point of the map. Up here, I would be able to see anything, especially a titan. Looking around at the rooftops, I didn't see anyone. And after I jumped down, I saw a human over here. Oh, um, have I seen you before? No, I don't think so. Interesting. Um, do you know any recent sites of a titan destroying a house or any buildings? These are scout duties, of course. No, I haven't seen a titan destroying a house. Why is that so specific? Uh, don't worry about it. Goodbye. I started walking away when I heard something behind me. And as I turned around, he had been transforming into another Titan Shifter. He transformed into the Jaw Titan. And soon after, I transformed as well. With the Jaw Titan speed, he came charging in at me. I waited for the right time to strike and then used my hammer attack. It did a lot of damage, but since he was so quick, he was able to maneuver around me and then retaliate by biting my leg. We continued fighting on the rooftop, and I was still using my spike attacks because they seemed to do a lot of damage and slow him down a bit. After he knocked me onto a rooftop, I made my way back. When I got there, the jaw titan started using his jawed powers and his slashes to bite at my legs and my chest. I'd been taking a lot of damage, and this titan was super powerful, but I could tell it didn't have a lot of health. I continued using my hammer thrust and my spike attacks to slow it down in any desperate attempt to do more damage. This titan was super powerful, he was using his jaw attacks, but he was also missing. He was jumping up and slashing at my chest, trying to slow me down and do a lot of damage, and I could tell I wouldn't be able to do this fight for much longer, so I would have to finish it with some powerful attacks. I kept using a bunch of hammer and spike attacks, because that's all my titan could really do. This titan was much faster, so I knew that I would have to outsmart it. Eventually, I knocked it down, and I came down soon after, hitting you with a hammer thrust on the way down to do a lot more damage. I used a hammer thrust, and then I decided to go for a stomp since this titan was a lot shorter than me. And it connected. After that, the jaw titan started using his speed and almost got my nape. He retreated back and then retaliated with some spike attacks to slow it down. I knew I would have to finish off this titan soon because I wouldn't be able to last for too long. So after one stomp, I finished off the titan. And when I woke up, I immediately left because I didn't want to be caught in my titan form in town. I eventually was able to heal up from all of the damage that I had taken, and then go back into town and start looking for some clues. I was looking in these barrels when I noticed a girl walk by, and she had dropped a notebook. I quickly ran by to grab it, and see what was in it. So after making sure she wasn't here, I opened up the notebook, and it read, It's day 59, and I'm still looking for the coordinate, and the warhammer. We lost the Colossal, and you will have to come soon if this keeps up. I didn't know what this meant, but I knew that that was definitely another Titan Shifter. Because it was late, I decided to find a good spot inside the interior because I knew that would be safer and go to bed. I then started my search all over for this new Titan Shifter, looking at all the spots that I had previously visited. I even checked where I defeated the Cart Titan, and there wasn't anything either. So I decided to scour all of the walls because I hadn't looked at the walls yet, and since they are so big, there are so many possibilities for a Titan Shifter to be hiding on there. Later in the day, while looking through the walls, I found a campsite up at the top of one. And I looked over, and there was nothing really here, except for what was a knife. I right clicked on the knife, and it took half my hearts and almost turned me into a titan. This is definitely what people use to turn into titans. This definitely seemed like a more experienced titan shifter. So I decided to go back and train for the next couple of days in my titan form. I wanted to unlock any new abilities or a new move that I'd be able to use to defeat any new titan shifters. And by the end of the training, I'd gained a full new row of hearts. After training, I found a nearby village that looked pretty abandoned, and this house looked nice, so I went inside and stayed the night. But what I didn't know that night was that there was a titan shifter waiting for me to awake. I woke up and decided to go out looking for her again, when I looked in front of me and she was there. I knew that this was definitely the titan shifter. 
so I didn't hesitate. I used that knife from earlier, cut my hand, and then transformed into the Warhammer Titan. And soon after, she transformed too. This Titan looked really fierce, and looked like it was really agile. So I was being really careful. She used hardened fists and legs to do a lot more damage than the other Titan shifters. And she was super quick. I'm glad I had trained my speed. Just like the Jaw Titan, I knew I would have to outsmart her using my abilities. So I started off by wanting to slow her down. Using my spike attack, I got her slow. And then after that, I knew I would be able to do some damage, so I went in with another spike attack, launching her into the air and doing a lot of damage. She retaliated with some punches and some kicks, but I kept going. I used my hammer smash, and it was doing a lot more damage than she was doing to me. So I knew I might be able to finish this. She wasn't putting up with it though. She was using her hardened legs to do a lot of health, and my titan body wasn't able to keep up. She had kept going at me, using her punches and kicks. She was a very trained martial artist. I could tell that this wouldn't be as easy as any of the other titans I had fought before. She continued going at me, and I would started using some kicks too, which she launched me back. And in between hits, she was able to do a lot of punches toward my body. She jumped up and punched me in the face, and that one hurt a lot. All I could do was retaliate with my spike attacks, because I didn't know what to do. My titan hardening was wearing off. If I was going to defeat her, I would have to do it now. Kept using a lot of stomps and punches, so I kept using my hammer attacks, and eventually I was able to lay the final blow and defeat the female titan. Knowing that I had almost lost just because of my speed and agility alone, I decided to train that some more. Because if there were even more agile titan shifters, I would need to be able to defeat them, and I didn't want to take any chances. With my newfound speed and agility, I was able to learn a new move, my spinning hammer thrust. And then after that, I decided to go home and check on my house. It was still in pieces, and I really wanted it back. So I decided to spend the next couple days repairing the whole house and making it even better. I had finally finished and it looked even better than before. I had got more windows, better doors, a whole chest area, a crafting area, and it looked so much more organized. I put some torches back up and I kept the same area over here and since they destroyed it, it was even more spacious than before. I replaced all the windows and my house was looking very good again. Now that I had finished that, I had learned a new move and I of course wanted to master it. So I spent the next couple days vigorously training my Titan spinning move. I'd finished training that feeling a lot more confident in my titan's ability to take down more shifters, so I went to bed. Meanwhile, in Shiganshina, the beast titan had shown up, and it was looking for me. It started going to every building, destroying all of them, without remorse for the citizens, or any fear of being captured. This titan was so powerful, and one of its punches could destroy a whole building. It made a whole circle, and destroyed everything in sight. Hearing the racket and the screams of the titan, I noticed something was wrong. I ran over to take a better look, and that's when I saw it. I knew I had to transform. I couldn't let all of these people die. So I transformed into the Warhammer Titan to take it on. Using the speed I had gained and the new ability, I knew I'd be able to defeat this Titan easier than before. I got my way over there and noticed all of the destruction. That's when we started a fight. I used all of my abilities. I was fighting in town, I didn't want any of the scouts to know. So I would have to defeat this Titan really quickly. I used my Titan Spikes, while the Beast Titan uses long arms to get a lot of good attacks in on me. And they hurt a lot. I got a critical hit with my hammer. Coming back in, I went for the nape, but I missed and used the Spike Attack instead. This Titan was pretty quick, so I'm glad I did all that speed training. I wanted to put my new move to use, but there are so many buildings around, I couldn't destroy them. And that's when the Attack Titan had showed up. They both started teaming me, and I didn't know what to do. All I could do was defend myself here. Two Titans versus one, that is not good odds. I used my spike attacks, doing damage to both of them, but I was taking damage rapidly. My only goal here was to survive, so I couldn't focus on beating both of them. And while I was fighting one Titan, the other was fighting me in the back, so I couldn't really do much here. I kept using my attacks to try and slow them down to make an opening for me to escape, but I couldn't do anything. I just had to defend myself here. If I could hold out a little longer, I might be able to use my ODM gear to get out of here. They were pulling me in closer, using both their hardened stomps and kicks, when I fell over. I was defeated, but I wasn't done yet. I was on one heart, so I used my ODM gear to get out of there as quick as possible. I could not fight them yet, but if I train a little bit more, I might be able to take them on. I got to a safe place and then healed up, so I wouldn't take any more damage and die. 
And then after that, I decided to go back to my house and take a good night's rest because I was going to adventure in the morning and I was really tired. The next day, I found this chapel in the middle of nowhere. I decided to go in when I noticed that there was a book and what appeared to be a syringe. I grabbed the book and it read, there's a total of nine shifters. The Colossal, Attack, Warhammer, Armored, Cart, Beast, Female, Jawed, and The Founding. These nine come from the founder Ymir and are used to wage war upon the world. After learning this, I knew that to complete my mission, I only had to kill a couple more Titan shifters. So I went back to my house that night and studied the book, learning every in and out of it and how to defeat each Titan shifter. And by the time I had finished, I was ready to go find the Titan Shifter and defeat him, and I wanted to start with the Beast Titan. But after looking for him for a whole day, all I came back with was some meat. So I went to bed and the next morning I woke up to a ton of Titans, right after a Titan scream. I knew what I had to do. I used my ODM gear and started going after them one by one. Eventually I got the first one. Now there are only like 20 more to go. So I tried to get these guys to miss my first attack. After zooming around through the trees, I got a good vantage point and almost got him again. I came back around and took out two at the same time. There were a lot of these little guys after me, so I was trying to get them. But I wanted to focus on the taller ones first because they're a lot easier to kill. I went over to try and lure all of them into a group so I'd be able to take them out at the same time, getting one in the process. I was evading these two when I came back around and lunged towards another one and eventually got two. Now there's only a couple more. I got some more after that and some more and some more. Now, there's only one left, and I finished off the last one soon after that. And, when I looked over to the left, I noticed the Beast Titan running away from the scene. After studying the book, I knew that he made those Titans. He used his Spinal Fluid. So, I had to prepare for the next attack, when I was going to defeat him. I decided to head back to the chapel to see if I could find anything new there. And, when I got there, it looks like there was someone standing on top of it. When I got to take a better look to see who it was, it was the guy who had controlled the cart Titan. Hammer. I don't want conflict. We just need you out of our way. We're on a mission to save this island. And if that means I have to defeat you, then so be it. He transformed on the spot. And he was the size of a building. Soon after that, he came charging at me. So I transformed and we began to battle. My speed had gotten a drastic increase since the last time we had fought. So I ran away and looked for good opportunities to use my spike attack to do a lot of damage. After using each spike attack, I ran and then used my hammer swing and got his leg. Doing a lot of damage and slowing him down drastically. He retaliated with a big hit, but I used my new spinning attack, and it was doing a lot of damage. This was the Titan Shifter that was from the beginning, so I had to defeat him. I came through and used a spike attack, then I went to evade. He started running after me, but he was much slower. So, in the meantime, I used another spike attack, doing a ton of damage back to him, and evading all of his shots. I would move away, spike attack, use my speed, move away again. He was nothing to me now. I was so much more powerful. If I just kept this up, I'd be able to defeat him in no time. So, I used more spinning attacks. Knowing he was almost dead, I used another spike attack, seeing if I could get him from a long range to avoid any damage. The spike attack did a good amount of damage, and by the end of it, it finished him off. I had no time to waste. To kill the attack titan, I knew that it would be a lot harder. And because I was a member of the scouts, I decided to go into the capital and talk with Erwin. I knew I would need his help for this. I have a plan to take down the attack titan. Since I'm in the scouts, I would like your help. Yes, I will help you with this. After staying the night in the capital, I came back to Shiganshina in complete ruins. So I knew it was the attack titan. He was in retaliation. So I decided to go see where he was. Or if I could find him. I scaled the wall, and when I looked out, I saw the attack titan running away from the scene. I couldn't chase after him yet. For my plan with Erwin to work, I would need to get stronger. So I had to ignore him for now, and go train with my titan. I got out to a good area where nobody was at to do my last bit of training. This would put me over the edge and maybe help me defeat the attack titan in battle. Once I was ready, it was time to enact the plan. So I went and followed the attack titan, and it led me back to where I had started. I scaled the wall, going down the stairs, and what I saw was an open ocean with a boat here. There was only one thing for me to do, and that was to sail on the boat to go fight the attack titan. I got there to Marley and immediately transformed.
Imagine you're in the world of Minecraft Attack on Titan, as the Colossal Titan. Training to become a member of the Survey Corps, cutting down Titans with your ODM gear, and battling other Titan shifters that are trying to steal your Colossal powers. For 100 days! Oh no, there are three Titans right there. I gotta make a break for it. I don't think I'll be able to outrun these guys. I have to go hide behind a tree or something. Come on, come on, where's a good tree? Where's a good tree? Oh, they're still right behind me. They just broke through that whole tree. That plane's a no-go. I don't think I'll be able to outrun these guys. I have to keep trying, though. Oh, they're still on my tail. I can't keep this up forever. Oh! Whoa, they're gone. I, I have so many hearts. Am I the Colossal Titan? This is so amazing. Wait, whoa, wait, what is happening? Oh, uh, who are you? What are you doing here? Come on, let's get you back. Wait, where am I? What is this place? I have to go find out. Um, excuse me, can you tell me where we are? We are in the Shiganshina district, on the outskirts of Wall Maria. Is there anything else you ask it of me? No, that helped. Uh, thank <laughs> you. I said goodbye, and then I left to explore Shiganshina. And this place was massive. I found this big building at the center and went inside. And inside there is a classroom with a bunch of YouTubers as students. Is that Bronzo and Koopa Cool? Anyways, I want to fight the Titans. How can I do that? Here, take this. Come train and join our ranks. Also, subscribe if you want more content like this. I mean, Levi said it, not me. When I left the building, it was completely dark outside. So, I went back to my house and stayed the night. On the morning of day two, I looked at my map and then went to start my adventure. And on my journey, I found a horse in a stable. Inside there was a whole bunch of wheat and a saddle. I used that wheat to make my food, and after taming my horse, we started off to look for the training area. But little did I know, there was trouble lurking ahead on the path. We came across a 15 meter titan and two 5 meter ones. I immediately transformed. I looked around to take on the titans, and they were all gone. It looks like my transformation scared off those pesky titans too. While in my titan, I started to train, and when practicing my stomp, the earth started to shake all around me. This is so awesome! Nothing can challenge me now. I also learned that I have a killer punch in my titan form. And after not too long of training, I started to lose my sight, just like the last time. And I crashed to the ground. And I got back on my horse to keep on exploring, knowing that I would have to train really hard if I wanted to become stronger. I soon got into this massive forest of giant trees, and inside there was a campsite. I knew this would be a perfect place to camp out for the night, so I leashed up my horse and slept in the tent. The next morning, I woke up and got on my horse to find the training camp. And after not too long, I found what looked like it. I rode in through the front gates and looked for a spot to leave my horse while I trained. Um, hello? Good afternoon. What might your name be? My name is Dr. Duke, sir. Well, Dr. Duke, I would assume you are here to train. First things first, we don't got too many resources, so you'll need to make some training equipment if you want to start training. Once you have this, Come back to me for the rest of training. After getting those instructions, I left back on my horse to go back to the campsite. I made it back and it was still daytime, but I needed to get to work on making the training equipment. So I got some wood and made myself a full set of wooden tools. When nighttime struck, I found a spider and I had to kill it because I needed some string for my training equipment. There were only a few more things I needed now. One of those was stone, so I started to dig. 
Soon after that, I made myself a stone pickaxe and a furnace to smelt the stone with. And bada bing bada boom, I finished making the training equipment. I packed up all of my things and then got on my horse to then leave for camp. But nothing is ever this easy. There is a smiling titan blocking my path. I quietly snuck around the smiling titan and made it safely behind a tree. As much as I would like to destroy it in my colossal titan, I couldn't transform because I already did it twice in only a couple of days. So I just left the titan there and went back to camp to continue training. I got back to camp and gave my training equipment to Keith Shadius. Here you go, sir. Good job. Now we can get to work on your balance. Place it down and give it a try. It may take a few tries. I got it, sir. Can I join the survey corps now? Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Nobody has mastered the ODM gear this quick since Levi. Tomorrow, you'll go out to the forest and practice on the dummies. Here, take these. You'll need them for tomorrow. Thank you, sir. You're the best. Whoa, this is fast. Oh, well, it looks like it's getting pretty late. I think I should stay here for the night. This looks like a pretty good spot to me. In the morning, I said goodbye to Sir Shadius, and then left for the final part of training. When I got there, I started to have a good time. Woohoo! Yeah! Odium gear is the best! I'll be slaying Titans with my Odium gear in no time. I'm really getting the hang of this now, but I could still use some more experience. I continued to train more and more, mastering the craft of my Odium gear. But when I was leaving, the Earth started to shake near the training camp, so I got there as fast as I could. And the armor titan started to destroy everything in sight. He started with the wall, smashing them over and over again, as if he was looking for someone. Or something. He then left just as quick as he came. And when I got there, the whole place was demolished, and Mr. K was gone. Promise me, you'll kill that titan. His last wish was for me to kill the titan. So I left for where I heard the noise first from. Shiganshina. I have to avenge him. I can't let him die in vain. When I got there, the place is empty, and I was low on food, so I found some steak in a chest and grabbed all of it to heal up. Then shot off with my ODM gear to check on the damage, and what I found were titans within the walls. It was time to put this ODM gear training to the test, and not before too long, the bloodshed began. This one is for key! I got him! Just like that, I got my first titan kill. Soon after, I got my second kill. And before I knew it, there was only one more titan left. I went in for the kill, but I missed. The titan was right behind me, so I had to get out of there. I got the high ground and then decided to move up to the top of the wall. Alright, this should be a safer place. I peered down at the titan, the last one. If I couldn't kill it like this, then there was only one other way. I jumped off the top of the wall and transformed into the colossal titan once again, eradicating the normal titan beneath me. I then lost control over all of my titan instincts and began to walk all over Shiganshina. After a while, I ended up being pulled from my titan. I woke up after being pulled from my titan and found myself in a dungeon. But after trying multiple ways to escape and what seemed like everything for multiple days, I had no luck. Another day in prison. Wait, who's that? I can't capture you if you're already locked up. Now can I? We got to let you go for now. When I woke up, the iron bars that were holding me in were gone. So I used this opportunity to escape. Luckily, it was nighttime because I could use the shadows to my advantage. I need to find whoever that person was that helped me. I kept running until I found another camp near a forest. But these forests are never lacking in titans since the armored titan had demolished the walls. I took cover behind the tent and was thinking of a way to get rid of this titan. I decided to go and check the chest for anything that could help. And in one of the chests, I found almost full ODM gear, but there weren't blades. I would have to think of another way to get rid of this titan without them. Okay, let's do this. Okay, okay, now we got his attention. While standing on this tree branch, I noticed an unloaded chunk. This is perfect! All I would have to do is lure him over there. Okay, let's give this a shot. Here we go! Subscribe! Let's go! It worked! You guys have to subscribe for that. Click it right now. After that, I knew I would need a base, so I gathered some resources and decided to make a little shack. Also, a reminder, make sure to leave a comment. I will read and heart every single comment on this video. And there we go. It looks good, but I would like to have a little bit of a window. Much better. Once I finished the shack, I went over to the unloaded chunk and started to mine up all of the resources in it. I got a ton of iron, and I was able to get some coal too. Once I had finished smelting up the iron, I used it to make some new blades for my ODM gear, and some extra armor to help me find the person who broke me out of jail. Alright, I think it's about time I go look for them. Anyways, I had to search for the person who broke me out of prison, 
but I turned up with nothing but more hunger by the end of the night. So I went inside my shack and waited out the night. The next morning, I set out on a long trek to go into Trost, and when I got there, it was nighttime. My mission was to find even more food and some gas so I could survive on my own. But little did I know, Levi was on guard tonight, and if he caught me, I would surely be locked up or even killed. I searched around an empty house, but I found nothing. And when I left to search another house, I spotted him. It looked like he was patrolling the same path, so I could time up when he comes and goes. When he left, I made a break for the corner of a building, and I got there without being noticed. Now, I just have to time him up and check the chest over there in the merchant stands. I made it over, and in the chest, there was a lot of food and seeds. I went over to the second chest, and inside there was a bunch of baked potatoes. I grabbed them all and then sprinted away. I came back and decided to go into the guard post because that is where all the good loot would be. I made it inside and started to check the chest as quietly as possible. Come on, come on, he's coming back, I have to go quick! Yes, a gas tank! Wait, that's him right there. Oh no. I waited for him to leave, and when I couldn't hear him anymore, I opened the door and then sprinted away. That was way too close. Eventually, I made it back to my shack. I went inside and grabbed my iron and crafted some new blades because I knew I would need some spare blades if I wanted to survive. After using up all of my iron, I mined some more and made a bucket with it. And then I went to fill it with water to end off the day. When I woke up the next morning, my cabin was surrounded with titans. I decided to do the same thing I did with the last titan and lure them into the pit. And it worked again. Now I just had to deal with this little titan. Normal combat on these things are super hard because their napes are so tiny. So I had to try to see if the pit would work again. And of course, the pit never fails. Bye bye Titan. When I came back and saw my house, it was in pieces. So I ignored all of that and went on the search for that person again. I made it out to a forest and saw someone on a rock. Sorry to do this to you. Wait, what are you doing? Before I could say thank you, she turned into the female Titan. She looks super fierce and not friendly. I know what I have to do. Even though she released me from prison, I'm going to have to fight her. But I can't do it in this form. Immediately, I transform into the Colossal Titan. I'm gonna have to take you down now. No hard feelings. We both started to attack each other. She was getting in some good shots on me, and her leg had turned into what felt like stone. I did what I knew best, and that was to stomp. We both started going blow for blow, but she was tough and landing more shots on me. I kept landing good stomps because my punches were just not landing. I thought you saved me! Huh! I continued missing punches, and hers kept connecting. Clearly, the punches were not working. I kept pushing her back because I could feel the exhaustion on my Titan body. Not to mention my hearts were really low. Even with low hearts, I knew I had to keep fighting. Harder and harder. This couldn't be where it ends. I kept attacking with my stomp, but that wouldn't be enough. The female Titan is just too fast and can dodge all my punches. She started to go for my legs. If she gets them, this will be the end for me. Luckily, my stomps are keeping her away from them. Come on, I have to keep this up. She can't keep fighting forever. Alright, couple more stomps, and then I landed the final blow. The female titan had collapsed to the ground. When I got down, I was badly injured, but I noticed a notebook had dropped where she had fallen. It read, Reiner, I have located the Colossal. I will go out to the forest for a talk in the morning. Annie. After that, I left the forest and slowly made it back home, killing a couple titans in the process. By then, I was low on gas, so I grabbed my pickaxe and decided to go mining for some iceberg stones. But when that was too slow, I decided to go into Trost at night and look for some gas canisters I could take. At the top of the castle, I started to search in the barrels and the chests. I was able to find one gas tank. This should do for now. I then left Trost and went back home before anybody could catch me. I made it back home during the night time and then went to sleep. The next day, while searching for a meaning behind the notebook, I came across a person in the forest. I have to get closer to see what that guy's doing over there. I snuck around and heard people talking. What are they talking about? She must about? have been caught off guard by the Colossal. If only I was there sooner. There is no time to waste. We must get back to our mission. We still don't know who has the Colossal yet, but we will find out soon enough. After they said that, they ran off in another direction. Both those guys must be with Annie. That means they're trying to kill me too. I have to get out of here. I left on my ODM gear to go into Trost. But when I got there, I saw Levi! Oh no, it's Levi, I have to go! Levi didn't let down, he started to chase me with his ODM gear as well. How am I going to lose him? Levi started to close the gap between us, and was getting closer. 
What do I do? What do I do? He's right behind me. I landed on a rooftop and ran. He's trying to kill me. Levi is much more skilled than me with his ODM gear. But if I want to escape, I would have to face him down. He bolted at me and landed some slices. He's too quick. How can I lose him? It's not letting me transform either. Then Levi got right in front of me and landed some insane hits. I retreated once again, but he was right behind me, ready to strike. Wait, wait. Ah, oh, I'm only on one and a half hearts. I have to get out of here. I have to... Levi, wait. Don't kill me. No. Oh, wait. Where am I? You have been put up for trial. We know that you're a danger to us I'm all. I'm not the only one out there. I killed one. It was the female titan. I used my colossal powers to fight and take her down. I also believe I know who the other shifters are. I vote we keep him alive. If he does anything out of hand, I will finish him off myself. We trust, trust in you, Levi. Levi. Woke up in a nice bed and a really nice room. I checked out this place where I was, and it was insanely nice. There was a ton of food, not to mention a whole new set of ODM gear and a scout regiment cloak to keep me hidden. I think this fits me quite well. I left the house and went outside to find that I'm in the interior. This place is so nice. I spent the whole day exploring what the interior had to offer. And after looking at some massive buildings, I went into one and found some ODM gear supplies. I needed them, so I took them. I reloaded my swords and then left the house to go find some titans. And before too long, I found two of them standing near the wall. I started to attack these titans, but they felt really strong for some reason. I landed a perfect hit on one of them and took it down. Just one more. After missing one attack, I made my way around the wall for cover. And from the wall, I launched at the titan and took it down. I guess you could say I'm the best titan slayer there is. Well, in my human form. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, please drop a like. It would mean a lot. After that plug, I went around the interior when I spotted this old building, and it looked like there was a guy on top of it. I went over to get a better look, and once I got a better look, I recognized he was the guy from the forest who was trying to capture me. Within seconds, I transformed, and so did he! I stared at him in his titan's beady eyes. I wouldn't let anyone take me alive, not even another titan shifter. I threw the first punch, but he dodged it. This guy is way faster than the female titan. The titan started to claw at me, and he was doing a lot of damage. He's biting my leg! What is this, the jaw titan or something? He kept throwing more and more slashes my way with his claws, and they were doing a lot of damage. When he stood still for a second, I was able to stop the jaw titan, and I knew that one hurt. I kept at him, but then he threw something at me, and it pushed me backwards. This little guy is way more stubborn than that any girl. Right after saying that, I was able to land a perfect stomp on him, finishing him off for good. After barely making it out of that battle, he left a book too. I'm looking around for him in the interior. Still no sign yet. Once you get back from Jagonchina, let's meet up in Trost. Hopefully you will have brought her with you, Galliard. I thought Annie was already dead. How can they bring her back? Is there another girl I don't know about? I left back into the interior and went home to go to sleep after that crazy day. And in the morning, I left to look for Levi, and I found him at the top of the biggest building. Levi, here, take this. Good work, Cadet. I knew it was worth it to keep you alive. You should go back to Shiganshina soon and investigate who this new person is. You look pretty beat from that battle. Are you a cover? You should work on mining up some more ice burst stones. I took the pickaxe from Levi and went to work on spending the next couple of days on mining ice burst stones. After mining up over a stack of them, I figured it was good enough. So I went back to Levi to give it to him. There you go, Levi. A lot of ice burst stones. Hope you enjoy. I then went back to my bed and slept to get some rest. When I woke up, I decided to check my chest, and inside there was some gas and a book. It was from Levi, giving me a gift for the ice burst stones I mined. I collected the gift gladly because I was all out of gas. Now I could go back to Shiganshina. Now that I'm rested up, I need to investigate what it said in that notebook. When I got there, I heard some voices talking in the dead of night. I snuck over to investigate. There's a girl. The Colossal must have gotten him while he was out on his reconnaissance mission to locate him. At the very least, you brought me here to help. But if this keeps up, we'll be screwed. We must find and steal the Colossal without any casualties from here After on out. After they finished talking, they split up in different directions. I knew they were both Titan Shifters, and I can't 2v1 right now. So I found an old house and stayed the night in Shiganshina. When I woke up the next morning, I looked over to my right and saw another 15 meter Titan. It hadn't spotted me yet though. I went over to the top of a house to get a perfect angle on the Titan. All right, let's do this. Yeah. Oh, I missed. The Titan is sprinting this way. Oh, that was one block away from killing me. That was definitely a message to leave Shiganshina and go back to the interior. I need to report this to Levi. I got over to Levi and told him everything I knew about the new girl and what had happened in Shiganshina. Here, take this. 
this should help. He gave me a new piece of technology called a Thunder Spear, so I had to go try it out. I found a 15 meter tall Titan and went to try this thing out. And just like that, it decimated the Titan so easily. This definitely worked, but I lost half my health. I went back to my house within the interior and went to sleep soon after that. In the morning, I transformed and went right to work on training my Colossal Titan powers for the upcoming battles. I would need every ounce of strength I have if I'm going to defeat those new Titan shifters. Once I finished training, I explored around the outside of the interior walls when I found a wooden village of some sort. I was searching around when I saw the girl from Shiganshina there, and she was alone. This is my chance to defeat her. We both transformed and the battle commenced. I started off by hitting the titan with a stomp, but she retaliated with a massive gun attack, and it did so much damage while launching me into the air. I kept hitting her with my powerful stomp, but this turret on her was too powerful. It kept launching me into the sky, and I was taking fall damage. Even though I was doing a lot of damage to her, she was dealing way more back to me. I tried to get close, but the bullets kept flying me backwards. I couldn't hit her. I got close and tried to do an attack, but then she released her biggest barrage of bullets yet throwing me into the interior's walls. This is not looking good for me. If I didn't do this training before, I would be dead right now. The cart titan started to close in, and I was able to land a few shots, but her abilities were far too much for me to get any solid damage in. And another barrage of bullets was flying me above the walls. This is it. I don't know if I can defeat her. She's far too powerful. I came back down, but I was low on hearts. The guns kept ablazing while I kept trying to break her turret with my stomps. She started to close in on me knowing I was almost dead and was doing some melee damage. I tried to attack her again but was stopped with a wall of bullets. I needed to end this now. I closed in, not stopping, and started to stomp to try and break the turret. And with one last hit, she was gone. I made it out of the fight with only one heart, and I saw she dropped a notebook as well. I picked it up and started to read. I'm going into the interior to inspect the region for Zeke. Hopefully he won't need to come, but we must seize a colossal. Peek. So, her name is Peek. If this Zeke is anything like her, I'll be finished. I turned back to show the new information to Levi, but when I got back, he wasn't there. There was a notebook, though. It read, Hello, Colossal. I have your master, Levi. If you want him, you have to face me. I think it's about time we end this. I have to find this Zeke and finish him off, too. I can't lose Levi like I lost Shadius. I spent the rest of the day frantically searching around the interior for Levi, but I couldn't find him, and I was low on gas. I traveled into Trost to look for Levi using every ounce of gas I had left, but I couldn't find him. I had to go back home to sleep and begin the search in the morning. The next morning, I continued my search by traveling to the capital. I ran into one of the buildings in the capital and found a bunch of new thunder spears. I took them. I also found some more gas canisters as well. And in the last chest, I found two more thunder spears. I'm all set. After getting the loot, I went to the top of the wall because I heard a loud noise. Just as I looked down, there were titans that spawned in out of what appeared to be thin air. I went down and used my thunder spears against them. Luckily, I had looted the capital. One more titan left. I used my last thunder spear, but it didn't work. So I went to try again. I shot upwards with my ODM gear, and right before he could kill me, I launched one in his face. Ha! Take that, you ugly titan. That night, I found a new village and decided to seek refuge in it for the night. Nobody was here, so I started to rummage through all of the chests. In these chests, I found a ton of food that I was able to take. After I finished taking all the village's food, there was a loud scream, and the whole area shook around me. What is causing this? I looked around the house, and there were titans that just popped up from nowhere. Alright, it's time to kill some more titans. Whoops, I missed. Okay, let's try the Thunder Spears instead. Yeah! Wait, that didn't kill them? It looks like I'll have to lure them into this canal. Alright, it worked. While they were stuck, I looted a house and found some more blades. And some more food. But when I came back to finish them off, they weren't there. At this point, I was just hoping Levi would still be alive. I started to search in a whole new district, but what I found was her. You must be him! Tell me how you do it! Sorry, I can't show you. I need to look for Levi. Someone named Zeke has captured him. Is there anything you can do to help? Sorry, I get carried away. The most I can do is give you some gas and these thunder spears. Thank you, I need to go now. I took the thunder spears and continued with my search. What just happened? I'll have to deal with these first. I used a thunder spear and missed on this big old beardy. Okay, you want to die old school then, huh? Ah! Nice, I got him. The other titans, I was going to use my thunder spears to deal with, but as soon as I came down, they attacked me. I threw my thunder spear, but it missed. 
I tried again, but I missed both of them. And right before they got me, I launched up the wall and fired my last Thunder Spear to finish them off for good. While investigating the village to see what caused this, I saw a blonde haired man running, so I chased after him. But when I turned around, he vanished just as quick as he came. I knew this must be Zeke trying to kill me. I had to find Levi, so I searched in all the houses for him. But he wasn't there. I decided to sleep in one of the houses so I could search for Levi in the morning. With my Odium gear, I started racing in search for him. I had to find him today. And in a whole new forest, there he was. It was Zeke. <laughs> it's time to take what's ours. Let's see what you got, Colossal. I transformed and we began to fight. I already felt the power in Zeke's punches. Unlike the Cart Titan, there wasn't knockback. So as long as I kept using my stomp, I would be able to do a lot of damage. Wait, what is happening? I started to emit a steam from my body, doing damage to the Beast Titan, and it was pushing him back. Was this a new ability? I can't control it, but it's doing a lot of damage to him. This combined with more kicks and punches will surely finish him off. I have to defeat him right now and right here so I can get Levi back. One more! Lara, Reiner, I leave the rest to you. Levi, are you okay? The Beast Titan said that there will be two more attempts to capture you if he is to fail. The Warhammer should be a challenging opponent. I suggest you train for at least five days if you wish to take it on. I took Levi's advice and began training in my Colossal Titan form. I really needed to get the hang of this new Steam ability. And after five days of hard training, I finally mastered the Steam ability. I feel much more confident in my power now. By the time training was over with, I was low on food, so I went back into Trost to look for some. In the house, I was able to find a whole bunch of food. But it was nighttime, so I decided to stay there for the night. It's now day 72, and I needed to look for more clues surrounding this Warhammer Titan. But first, I have to deal with this guy. I got a good vantage point and missed my first attack. And when I came back around, I missed the second one too. I eventually lured him into the river and finished him off in third person. After all that fighting, my blades had broken on the way back to the interior. So after looking in many houses, I finally found some new blades and some more food. When I left the houses, I noticed it was late, so I decided to stay the night here and go back to check in with Levi in the morning. Levi, I haven't found anything yet. Wait, what are you wearing? I guess you're trying to stay protected now, anyways. Um, no, I haven't. Thank you. That's actually a great idea. Thanks! I got to the top of the interior's walls and began to look around. And I looked around all day, but I didn't find any clues. The only way to use the walls is to be one with them, so after grabbing my bed, I slept on top of them. Day 74 through 78, I went back to Shiganshina to check on the walls there. But I had to deal with this pesky Titan first. Ha! That was way too easy. Leave a comment right now if you think I'm better at Levi than killing titans. When I got inside Shiganshina, I noticed the campfire was still lit, and the city was supposed to be deserted. I must be onto something here. I took Levi's advice and started scanning the walls above the campfire, but I didn't really see anything out of the ordinary. And it was sunset, so I decided to sleep right here on the wall. And I haven't found anything Renner, yet. I have been hiding in the agreed upon spot. I won't leave until I get the signal. I had a feeling something was going on around here. I just couldn't put my finger on it. I jumped off the wall and went down to grab some blocks to thoroughly check the walls with them. When I got up to the top, I jumped and placed a block underneath me, and I only survived with one heart. I realized I would need some more blocks, so I jumped off and did the same thing, but I realized this looked a little bit different. I started to hit at it, and I saw a person! It was her! I transformed in time, and we both started fighting on the wall, and she actually had a hammer. This Titan's attacks were doing so much more damage, I could barely keep it off of me. Ah! What was that? Okay, I have to avoid that next time. I gotta keep using my punches. Oh no, another one! Ah! This Titan is no joke. Wait, is that the Armor Titan? They ambushed me! No! They're 2v1ing me! The Steam ability is doing a good job keeping them off, but I can't fight them forever. I have to get rid of one of these guys. With one more stomp, the armor was down. I just had to focus on the Warhammer now. I had to keep using my stomps and my punches. She fell down! I have to follow! I jumped off the wall and the battle continued. She kept using her massive hammer and it was doing so much damage. My steam ability was used up when I was fighting both of them, so I couldn't use it right now. I had to rely on brute strength. She had used her hammer and spun it around my legs, almost taking them off. But I kept them there and was able to stomp still. That is all I needed to finish her off. I got out of my Titan with two hearts. They almost killed me. I had to go and talk to Levi. I made it to the capital and told Levi everything that happened. He then gave me some steak and some thunder spears to help out in any way he could. He said I should stay the night in the capital, so I left the big building to look for a place where I could put my bed and spend the night. 
I knew if I was going to fight more titans, I would have to train up my titan abilities. Once I finished with that, I went back into the capital at night and decided to look through some of the loot that they had. And it was a jackpot. There were golden apples, thunder spears, and some meat, which was crazy. Man, this is so good. While out exploring, I found another pack of titans in between the walls. I had a bunch of thunder spears now, so I could use them against them. Oh, I'm on two hearts. I gotta get out of here. I retreated to the top of the wall and ate my golden apple to heal up. I then came back down and there was only one titan left. So now it was time to use my last thunder spear to finish him off. I stumbled back into the village where I had fought in the cart titan and looked around. I found a good place where I could put my bed and go to sleep for the night. While up in the morning, I found a sign above the house that said, This is the home of Keith Shadius. Reminded me of the promise that I didn't keep when I heard something. I need to get out of here. Not even the Marlin troops can save me from this hell. It was the Armor Titan. I immediately left after him to fight him. This is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. I can't screw this up. I have to defeat him right here and right now. The promise that I made! You got away last time, but I won't let you get away this time. I noticed that my punches and stomps weren't doing enough damage. His armor was blocking all of my attacks. I decided to use my steam ability to try and break some of his armor. And it was working, but only a little. I was able to hit a couple good punches while I was using my steam ability, but he kept kicking me. I can't lose this one. If I do, then my promise will be for nothing. I used my steam attack once again, because before I could do any real damage, I would have to break through some of his armor. This guy is the most plot armor I've ever seen out of any type. He just cannot die. I have to finish him off right here and right now. I kept punching, and I kept missing. He's way too short to punch. I hit him with the 1-2 elbow, and it seemed to work. He was taking a lot more damage now, and his armor had started to crack. I started using the steam ability to finally push him over the edge, and with one last stomp, I think I was able to do it. I did it for you, Mr. Shadius. I knew I wouldn't make it long. I'm sorry, Annie, Parko, Peek, Zeke, Lara. I couldn't do it. Aaron, if you can hear me, you must do it. What are you mumbling on about? Whoa, what is happening? The earth around me. It shouldn't have come to this. I have to go see what's going on. When I got back, it was decimated. Everything gone. What happened? I need to go investigate this. I have to go. I ran for many days, and what I found was a giant wall. I decided to scale it. When I got up to the top, there was a giant staircase leading down to something. And what I saw was not peace, but war. If you guys want the Titan Shifter mods that you've been begging me for, and the Attack on Titan map that I recorded on with every single district, then they will be on my channel memberships. They are under the Commander tier, as well as some other awesome perks like custom emojis to use in my comment section, and a loyalty badge next to your name in the comments. Channel memberships will be linked in the description below, so go download the map and mods. And a disclaimer that these mods, at least for now, only work on the Java edition of Minecraft, and a Minecraft server is needed to run them.